Thank you very much for joining me on this Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. A rare December storm trying to form. I want to get into just how rare this is ahead. Again, this is not coming to the Caribbean with that higher seas, of course, Bermuda down through the Caribbean. So I'm going to break that down. Look at this spin. That is something for this time of year. And yes, it could become more tropical in nature. And yes, the water temperatures are conducive for further development. So I'm going to dive into that and let's get into that right away. So here are the Azores. Ireland, United Kingdom, France, Spain, Portugal. You get into uh, Africa, Azores right here. Here it is. This is what I'm watching today, and you could see it developing yourself. I just showed you there on that uh, satellite picture. So here's this area. This is 1 o'clock today, getting better organized. Now, it has about a two-day window to become tropical, or at least uh, become a tropical storm, because this is where it can develop. So today and tomorrow, I do expect development in through Thursday as well. So you can see it here, much better development in the bad sense. We don't want these things to develop. You know what I mean? Much uh, more organized, I should say. So here are the Azores. This is four o'clock as we get into Thursday and you see it right there at this point. It could be a subtropical storm getting the name Owen. So a tropical storm or subtropical storm. And it does have a window that it could even become a hurricane as we get into Thursday and Friday. Let me stop the clock here. This is late on Friday. Now, I talked about yesterday that I'd have a better feel on the track. So we have the Azores here. The core of the system will be just to the northwest, but look at those kind of bands of rain and storms working in. So if you're in the Azores on Friday, that's when the winds are going to pick up. We'll watch out for some bands of winds. Hopefully the core of this stays off to the northwest. You see the track of this. Most of the modeling all takes it just to the northwest, but again, being west of the Azores, that feeds in that moisture. You see it right there kind of feeding in, wrapping in the moisture. Now moving ahead, this is on Saturday. So still I need to wait and see again how close it gets to the Azores. The bulk of the system right here, but some of these bands kind of add ahead of it. So uh, very gusty winds with this system and very high seas. Watching the Azores throughout the weekend. So again, starting Friday, we'll start to get some impacts from this and then just to wait and see as how close it gets. I'll be able to fine tune that tomorrow. Now down the road, this is as we get into Sunday. So if this system stays to the northwest of the Azores, same thing can happen to Portugal, uh, even parts of Spain, just some moisture out ahead of it moving in. And then at this point, it should become subtropical. Water temperatures are a lot cooler up here. So if it does, even, if it does become tropical in nature up here, it is going to lose its tropical characteristics, but a pretty big wind maker. At this point, the modeling is less certain. I looked at all the environmental conditions. I don't just look at the models, but a little bit less certain of where it goes. Does this kind of draw moisture back to France? If it takes more of a southern track, is it Portugal and Spain? Or does it bring more of the wind and rain to Ireland or the United Kingdom? Again, that is down the road as we get into next week. Got my eye on it uh, for Western Europe. Now, the water temperatures, as promised, down in the Western Caribbean, we're still very warm with some of the waters. They're cooling down, but 28, 29 degrees Celsius, about 27 as we get over here here. So this system is uh, trying to form, trying to gain ca uh, tropical characteristics and borderline temperatures. That's about 80, 81 degrees Fahrenheit here. So it can become tropical in nature, but either way, over the next two days, it is going to be spinning up. Environmental conditions are conducive for some more development out of that. Now, here's the issue. A different map I'm showing you uh, some of the wave heights, and you can see here, This is these are the wave heights in feet. So where this builds 20 feet, uh, they could top out around 34 feet at the center of this. That is away from the Caribbean. But then you get the swells working in late week. So heads up, north shore of, uh, say, uh, Dominican Republic and Haiti, watching the uh, watching the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos. But especially as you get on the north uh, shore, where it typically gets pretty choppy over toward uh, Puerto Rico, British U U.S. Virgin Islands, and then watching, say, uh, Antigua and Barbuda and Anguilla for that chance of some higher seas. So this is 10 to about 12 feet. So we're looking at about three to four meters with some of these seas. And that could give us some of that overwash and that potential flooding. So yeah, the system's over there, but I'm going to be watching out for that flood potential in the northeastern Caribbean because of those higher seas as we get into later this week. So subtropical development or tropical development is likely out of this system. The next name on the list is Owen. Hurricane season is over, but we still use the name, uh, the, the list of names throughout the entire year in case you get kind of an out of season storm. The new list for next season kicks in on January 1st. Now it should track just to the northwest of the Azores like I 
showed you, but that track's still uncertain, so I'll fine tune things for the Azores, and then we'll be watching some high winds for Western Europe. Not all of Western Europe, but again, it just depends on the track. I'll keep an eye on Western Europe, and I'll continue to keep you updated on that system. Now, let me bring you back down into the Caribbean. Not a ton going on now. I've been watching some showers and storms in Guyana. Some spots have the downpours yesterday. Other neighbors, you may have had uh, some sunshine around. So again, getting a look at the uh, Caribbean, uh, generally nice shape as a whole now. We'll see scattered showers and storms as the day goes on. So let's get to that here. We get a look at our, our modeling here. So here's Mexico, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. Today, scattered showers and storms. Trinidad and Tobago still dealing with the recovery from the historic flooding uh, we had. The best chance of rain, the highest chance of rain near Guyana in northern Venezuela, spotty showers and storms, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire later today, and again, more so tomorrow. This is on our Wednesday, spotty showers and storms, ABC Islands. Then we're going to, there's that system, by the way. We're going to start to get the flow from that. Spotty showers possible, Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and tomorrow, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, back through Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, a better chance of scattered storms. Not a washout, not a big blob of rain, but you see the spotty showers and storms here. Little more cloud cover over here with some old fronts, extra moisture, so Barbados, St. Lucia, uh, kind of a, a mix of clouds and sun uh, with some of that rain uh, is scattered about Trinidad, Tobago, but mainly to the south, Guyana and Suriname. Then on Thursday, still what I was showing you, again, the higher chance of rain still Belize, Honduras, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, not a washout, but scattered showers and storms. Guyana as well, northern Columbia, ABC Islands, scattered storms as we get into Thursday. But there's the system I'm watching. As it builds and moves away, we're still going to see that big flow with it. Uh, it's going to be kind of a sprawly system. System, and that'll actually bring in uh, some of those spotty showers right through the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Haiti, Dominican Republic, north side, and then back through uh, Puerto Rico, British Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, watching St. Thomas, St. Croix, watching over towards St. Martin. So the forecast uh, for today, you see the rain chance, it's down in spots. Look at Dominica, Martinique, only a 20% chance of a shower or storm. Guadeloupe, Montserrat, pretty much the same thing. 20, 30% chance of a storm as we get into our northern tier. Guyana, Suriname, better chance of some rain and storms as we work our way into the central and western Caribbean Jamaica. 30% chance of an isolated storm today, but a little more rain to the south. So as you get toward Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, parts of Colombia, upwards of a 50% chance of scattered showers and storms. Watching everyone up toward Cuba, spotty shower or storm. Now, as I mentioned, that system offshore in the Atlantic, it is rare. In December, since 1950, and this information came from uh, Colorado State, their uh, tropical uh, entity there, uh, their tropical branch, since 1950, on record, only 11 named storms have formed in the month of December. And Owen may be the next one out in the Atlantic. That is the rare territory we're in with this. So I'm monitoring it for Western Europe, the Azores, watching the scattered showers and storms back through the Caribbean. Got you covered. Thank you so much for being part of this uh, weather community. I try to get to those comments, as you know, throughout the day. They are fun to get to. I appreciate the kind words. I appreciate you sharing this channel and taking the time to subscribe. I hope you have a good day ahead.